Welcome back to a new series. In this series, we are going to make the 3D model of the Brihadeswar temple. So, first of all, I am adding the reference image, which I downloaded from the Google. You can also easily download these images. They are easily available. So, these images are having the front view, side view, and also the back view. So, we are importing each of these images. You can scale and align those images as and when you required and whatever you like. Also, don't forget to decrease the opacity of the images so that you can clearly see behind the, your mess. Also, you can rename the each of the reference image as side, front and back so that it will help you to properly navigate through those images. Now what we can do is we can scale this cube down and we can go to the edit mode and we can add a couple of loop cuts uh, one, of, one at horizontal and one at vertical and we can simply delete these three vertices and now we need to add a mirror modifier and change the axis to x and y so that a uh, mirror will be applied at the four side of the cube. Now again in the object mode, scale the cube with the proper dimension by pressing shift Z so that it does not scale along Z axis, but it scale on the X and Y axis and not on the Z axis. Now again in the edit mode, I am selecting the top faces and bringing them down along the Z axis and I am adding a couple of loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R and scaling those loop cuts. Now with this top face selected, we can simply extrude them along the Z axis. And we can also add a couple of loop cuts right over there. Now bringing this center two loop cuts very close to each other and we can extrude them along the along the normal for a couple of time and with the second extrusion you can scale that extrusion now you can simply align certain loops and you can extrude them one time and for the second time you can scale that extrusion we can similarly do these things with all the other loops. Now you can also add a couple of loop cuts along this direction too. And we can follow the same process. We are bringing close the center loop cuts, selecting them, extruding one time. And with the second extrusion, you can scale those down. Bring this very close to each other so that they'll appear to be look like a square. You can follow the same process for the rest of the loops. Once, once you complete the extrusion of all the faces, you can select the four faces of the corner and extrude them along the normal and scale them just like this. So here you can see our model has been modeled from all the four sides. And now we need to model this curvature which you can see in the reference so that I am selecting the top faces and extrude them, extruding them like this and giving a shape of the arc. So here you can see we have made a mistake. We need to scale only along the x-axis and not along the y-axis so that while scaling you need to press scale along x. Now you can follow the same process for each of the other 
arcs which you need to make along the top of the squares which we have modeled. Once you complete the modeling of the arc, you can select each of the faces of the arc and press W and select dissolve faces so that it will be a single face. And now you can simply scale this face and we can insert one more face and move it along the Y axis. Since this is the centered arc so that it will be having this particular problem, you can si simply delete, delete that middle portion. Now again selecting these faces, we can insert one more face and scale it along downward and we can simply move that along the Y axis so that it will be looking proper. You can also follow this step a couple of times. Similarly, you can do these things with the other arcs too. Now select these faces and extrude them along the z-axis. Extrude one more time and scale. And now we are going to model this particular corner portion so that keep on excluding and keep on following the reference. So here you can see we have modeled that corner portion. Now select each of these inner faces and extrude them along the z-axis. Now we are required to model this top part of the temple so that I am adding a spear and scaling it along the x-axis. We can simply delete the lowermost portion just like this. Now select each of these vertices along the x and y axis and delete them and add a mirror modifier and change the axis on x and y both. Now selecting this vertices and aligning them from the reference, we can select these faces and insert a face. Also align them properly and exude along the y axis. For a couple of times, we can move them along the y-axis and delete the remaining middle faces. Now select this bottom vertices and extrude them along the z-axis and also keep on scaling as and when required. Now select this top vertex and delete it and extrude the selected loop along the z-axis and also keep on scaling and following the reference and just model this particular portion. Now again in the edit mode, select each of these side faces and extrude them along the x-axis just like this and press S, X and 0 so that they will become flat. Now And now simply delete this corner vertices and fill this each of these gaps. And you can also do some beveling at the corner. If you like, you can simply do the same thing with each of these corners. Now also at the center of this extruded region, you can model any of 
the topology whatever you like Now to solve this darker portion, we, what we can do is we can go to the modifier tab and add a subdivision surface modifier. So here you can see we have modeled the topmost portion of the temple and you can simply align whatever the things are remaining to be aligned so that they doesn't look imperfect in terms of the size and proportion. Now it's a time for texturing. So I'm going to the shading tab and we are adding a new material. So what we can do is I am having the certain textures which I downloaded from the Google. There are certain several websites like texture.com, Polygon, where you can freely download the textures. But before that, you can unwrap the model by pressing U on the keyboard in the UV editing tab. We are applying the same textures to each of those meshes so that you can simply copy the material and paste it into the texture of the other object. You can also need to unwrap this model also. So here I'm using the cycle render engine and let's see how this looks. So here you can see it is looking amazing. The textures give richness to the model. So now what we can do is we can simply duplicate this particular portion of the object and scale it and now we can follow the duplication process for the five to six times or even more than that around eight to nine times whatever you like but don't go beyond 10 otherwise it doesn't it won't be looking good with the particular model of the temple that we are going to model so you can simply duplicate this particular portion and this is how it looks like after the duplicating process this much for this video we are going to further model this temple in the next couple of videos so till then have a nice day.